is how to replace that element in this boiler. What have you done? Oh, you know what? You put a staple in the wrong place. No. That should have slid onto there. Oh. Oh dear. Let me know in the comments how often you use your ring. So it's another week. We've got a busy week ahead of us, actually. Uh, got quite a few vans going out this week. And we've got a little repair. So our tip this week is a little repair. So do not miss our little repair. Um, Going to have a quick walk around. We're waiting. We're waiting. We've got some cracking vans, some crackers. Um, so, not going to say too much until they turn up because I want to do a nice big reveal. We've got some big motorhomes. So, hopefully, our motorhome video that we've just had uh, arrive should have come out now. Um, our so, video that we've just had arrived. Yeah, so we've, we've had five motorhomes all arrive all not all at once but not far off all at once and we did a little video so that should be popping up so if you want to see that but we hopefully should have already put that video out by now so if we haven't already put it out then the link won't come up but hopefully it will come up because we've already put the video because this is sunday's video um it's about usual for my conversation at least to be fair nothing makes sense yeah. Nice Seville that's coming. Uh, 2011, it's 10995. We've got a maximum weight of 1433, an empty weight of 1304. It's about 20, just 21 and a half foot roughly um, it's in length. In here, it is. It? It's a nice Super. van. Uh, really, really nice upholstery. Um, we don't get. Now, this was 2011, it was a high spec van, and we don't get the electric ring on these. Oh. So that's a bit of a shame. a bit of a shame, but then to be fair, nice. yeah, um, it's sort of how often do you use that ring? How often do you use your ring? What? Let me know in the comments how often you use your ring. Uh, if it, especially if it's electric one, um, do you use your ring very often? Let me know in the comments. And um, we're still. We're getting close to that 20,000 subscribers, aren't we? So if you've not already, drop us a comment, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Uh, this is normally when everyone turns off. Uh, Celeste is gone, but we've got a... Oh, I was nearly saying... I was, oh, I was, nearly, I was just, away, I was then, just nearly going to say that we've got a 2020 Swift Challenger due in, uh, but I best not say that just yet. Uh, another one that's just arrived is the Sterling Europa. Uh, 8495, 2011. 1280 kilograms this so a nice yeah nice weight on this one um just coming so it's not been cleaned yet it's got the motor mover it's got the hand on handle on the door the little security one um nice clean van uh, look at the size of that shower as well and let me just check your ring oh we have we've got the electric, electric ring. ring got an electric ring on there um big shower isn't it yes look at the size of that this this another tip and well and not not a tip uh, we are going to do a proper separate video on this um, and i should never lift cushions in a caravan that we've just had in and it hasn't been cleaned it's it's like the worst thing to possibly do stand back, then? stand back stand back but you're gonna have to get in close to show this in a minute we have done in the past our truma uh, boiler video but one video that i want to do and i'm going to do i just need to get time to do it which hopefully I'll do over this next week or so, is how to replace the element in this boiler. Now, this Truma boiler is very, very popular up to about 2014, 15. Most caravans before then, or around then, had this boiler. Um, and one thing that tends to happen is people will leave the hot water in the on position. So we've got our water heater button there. So you always need to make sure that that is in the off position. Um, you can see we need a bit of a clean, don't we, there? Um, a bit of a hoover. Um, so you always need to make sure that our water heater button is turned off when we're putting the electric in, because if you've not got water in your boiler and that is on, you're going to possibly blow your element. Um, and what, what that will possibly mean is that our element that goes into the boiler, I will try and get a picture to pop up now of that, is just going to blow up. And it will go sort of a purple colour when they've blown. So we know we, if you well, if good, if you run that without water, and then you come back to us and you go, oh well, now the element wasn't working. If it's per if it's purple, we know that you didn't put any water in there, uh, and that's what happens. So to replace that element, I could really do with finding one that's already had an, an element element replaced because to undo it 
if you pass me the camera for a second, what I'm going to do is show you. In here, by your hot and cold water connections, we've got this sort of circular starry bit, and you have to undo the, the casing on this, so our grey casing, it, 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 we, we break it basically, no other way to see it. So this pulls out and that then reveals the actual element and all that holds that in then is two little nuts and then on this one we've got the yellow little extra bit. Um, and the way to tell whether you've got the little extra bit on your element or not is to actually look at the wattage of the boiler. So on this one it's an 850 watt boiler so that wattage there, and then if you hadn't got that little yellow bit, it would be the lower wattage boiler. Um, so I'll find out what the wattage is and I'll put it up on the screen because I can't remember offhand. And that's how you know which element that you need um, for what boiler that you've got. So you've either got an 850 watt boiler or a lower wattage boiler, which as I can't remember, I think it's about 500 watts, something like that. And that hasn't got the little extra yellow bit. Um, but there's two little bolts um, that you undo. The element then comes out. The electrical connection, they are all different. Some will be into a little white coffin box and you have to put new connectors on. So again, it just depends on the electrical connection as to how easy or difficult that's going to be. Um, and then it's put that back in, two bolts back in. There's a little new seal that you just may, need to make sure is connect uh, or correctly seated that goes in two bolts back on there if you've got the little extra bit they just screw back on as well and then electrical connection and that's it so they're quite easy to repair but they are quite expensive um, we as i say we will do a proper i'm going to try and find one that we need to actually replace and do a proper video of how to replace it um, that isn't actually our tip i just got carried away I was going to say, I didn't think that really that wasn't our tip, we just got carried like away. A fair level of, like, fairly high level of DIY knowledge. Um, and everything. Well, it is and it isn't. It's literally, if you can wire a plug, you can do it. But what you've got to make sure is that the 230 volt and all your electric is completely disconnected. Lock your locker box up um, so you know no, your wife's not going to come along and plug you in as you're there trying to get your wires together and blow your head off. Um, so just always lock your electric box if you're ever testing anything or doing anything with your electric so that nobody can come along and plug you in. Um, but yeah, it's quite, it's quite, because it's literally positive to buzz, well, brown to brown, blue to blue, yellow to, and green together. So it's not, it's not rocket science. It is quite easy, um, but we will do a proper video. Our proper sort of tip is um, actually about your fridge. Um, and I've, I'm trying to find, we, we went round earlier trying to find a fridge, didn't we? And I couldn't find one. In this 580, I think this might have the right fridge. Yeah, this has got the same sort of fridge. So let's cut over now to the other one that we did the video on and show you how you can temporary, temporarily, temporary, temporarily repair your little fridge hinges. Ah, uh, this has got the same door. Can't do this, this one. Can't do it in that one. Ah, uh, this isn't quite the same there. No, can't, no, can't do it in this one. Find no. another one. Can't do it in that one. Find another one to do it in. We might be able to do it in this one. You'll be able to clean up after us too. I was going to check on the, uh, what's the name? Oh no, can't, tomorrow. can't do it in this one. Can't do it in that one either. We'll do it in this one. It's not the same, but it's the same. We'll do it in this one. The TARDIS caravan. The TARDIS? Have you got a loose flap? I've not got a loose flap. What I've got is a broken hinge. Oh. Now, this isn't our hinge, this is a customer's hinge and I'm just trying to fix it for him. So, the little hinges that go into these doors are a pain because they, they're pretty brittle uh, and they break. So we're going to fix it. I'm going to show you how to fix it um, until you can get your new one coming through. So, we've used our little magic stapler before. Oh, 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 hang on a minute, your flag's upside down. Oh, nobody will ever notice that. <laughs> So, a uh, little stapler. Um, so what we're going to do with this first is we're going to glue it, but obviously super glue isn't going to be a long lasting fix. So what we're then going to do is we're going to put our staples, we're going to burn our staples. So if you've already got a staple gun like this, um, or if you've got a blowtorch and some of these little staples. A blowtorch? That's 
sounds dangerous. Well, don't call me dangerous Brian for nothing. So what we can then do is hold this with a pair of pliers, heat it up and put it in um, and just burn it basically into the plastic and it sort of moulds within the plastic and gives it extra strength which is basically all our little hot staple gun does so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to glue this first so we're going to super glue it and then we're going to put a staple into it just to give it that extra strength um, and then hopefully this will keep our little fridge hinge usable until the new fridge hinge comes along and then once we've got the new one we've always got one in stock so let's glue it up first we're going to use some of the super glue all of these things even our stapler uh, if you have a look in our amazon shop you can buy um, so in the description there'll be a link to our amazon shop where you can find all of these bits and pieces to have on there those staplers they do come in useful for quite a few different things really. yes yeah they do i think you need to visit your amazon shop and buy some more glue <laughs> i think i do hmm hmm We're going to give it a good dolloping of glue. So, we're going to have to slide our little piece in first, and then we've got to clamp this together and then glue it. So, we'll glue that first and then we're going to staple it. So, we have now glued it. So, what I'm going to use is our stapler. I'm just going to literally melt the staple in. Uh, we might put two or three in here. Uh, not going to look the prettiest in the world, in all honesty, but what this is going to do is just give it that extra bit of strength. I'm just going to overlap this one just to give it extra strength. And there we go. So again, we've made sure that our little metal piece is in correctly. And then what we're going to try and do is just get as close to that and then melt this back in. You can see we've had a couple of attempts. Um, so it's just making sure that it goes in deep enough, but not too deep. We'll let that go off. And then this is what's adding all of the strength now into our hinge and so once that's cooled down we'll cut the ends off we can grind that down a little bit and clean it up a little bit and that's just going to get us by for the time being um, so at least the customer can now use his fridge still um, it'll have enough strength in so it's not going to break and that'll get by so if you've got one of these again if it's your own one um, to be fair it's going to be a lot stronger than it was ever originally um, so if you wanted to fix it, again, probably the price of that is about the price of a couple of new hinges. So for a self-fix, it's not a bad little idea. Let us know in the comments what you think. Bit on the side. Really? Have a look at this. Scott's brought Henry to work with him today. It's not Henry, it's George. Oh, it's George. He's brought George today. Hi, He's brought George. George. Hi, George. Hi George. <laughs> so, uh, Scott's brought a friend to it's br bring a friend to work day. Scott brought Scott brought on. George. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you got your seatbelt on as well. Uh, so that pretty much wraps up this week's video. As I say, um, we're waiting. We're eagerly waiting for some very, 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 very they're nice vans. Today, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I was supposed to have got a call on Monday to say when they were coming. And then I got a call yesterday to say one of the vans that I'd actually bought has been sold. So we've we managed to sort that out though. And I think it was in my favour a little bit to be fair. So but some nice, nice vans. Some vans that we've never seen before. We've never ever had one of these vans on our channel before so that is very interesting it's coming um, here isn't it Guys. yeah i think it's coming here so yeah there'll be a video as soon as it comes i'm just going to be like a kid in a sweet shop and not be able to contain my excitement so yeah uh, a bit like the motorhome video yeah. 
So that is pretty much it. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop us a comment, and we'll see you next week. Ooh, look at what's just arrived. That's quite nice, isn't it? Ooh, that is very nice. Very, very nice.